Now, another interesting problem. A straight line has intercepts A and B on coordinate axis, on the coordinate axis. So this is the straight line, red line is a straight line. We have a coordinate axis XY coordinate system. This is XY coordinate system, black coordinate system you can say. And it has intercept A on X axis and intercept B on Y axis. Therefore, the point of intersection with of the line with x axis has a coordinate a0 and the point of intersection of the line with y axis has a coordinate 0b. We call this point b, this point a. So it is 0b and 0a. Obviously, this distance oa is a and ob is b. So with respect to black coordinate system, the intersection point of intersection A has coordinate A0 and point B has coordinate 0B. When the axes are rotated through a given angle, so the axes are rotated through a given angle keeping the origin fixed, the same line has intercepts P and Q. See, now the coordinate axes are rotated keeping the origin fixed. This is the fixed origin and maintaining the angle between the axis as 90 degree. Earlier also it was 90 degree ax angle between x axis and y axis and here also the axis are simply rotated. Therefore, the angle between the axis remains 90 degree even after rotation. Now we get a new coordinate system which is blue coordinate system x dust o y dust. So earlier it was x o y coordinate system x o y which is black coordinate system you can say now you get new coordinate system x dust o y dust which is a blue coordinate system and in the new coordinate system the point of intersections are this we call this point p and we call this point Q and with respect to the blue coordinate system, the coordinate of P is P0 and coordinate of Q is 0Q. Remember this P0 is the coordinate of P with respect to new coordinate system which is blue coordinate system which is actually X dash to Y dash coordinate system and similarly coordinate of Q with respect to blue coordinate system is 0Q. 0q because q is lying on y axis y direction or y axis of the new coordinate systems therefore the x or x dash coordinate of q will be 0 and similarly the y coordinate or y dash coordinate of the point p will be 0 therefore we have assumed the coordinate of p to be p0 and coordinate of q to be 0q now, what, are, what is the relation between A, B and P, Q that is to be found out? So, it is a very interesting problem. So, in the, we could write OA is equal to A and OB equal to B. And similarly, we could write OP, OP is P and OQ is Q from our basic idea of coordinates and consider the line makes this angle is alpha line red line makes alpha angle alpha here and, and makes angle beta here and theta is the angle of rotation and if this is theta that means x o x dash if it is theta obviously this is also theta this angle because the angle between the coordinate axis in both blue and black that is 90 degree therefore if rotation with respect to x axis is theta then rotation with respect to y axis is also theta 
So just recognize this angle is beta, this angle is alpha, this angle is theta, this angle is also theta. Now our objective is to find a relation between A, B, P and Q. Now see OA, OA I have already written is equal to A. Follow the steps carefully. OA is A. Now this point P drop a perpendicular on X axis and call N is the foot of the perpendicular on X axis. And similarly from B drop a perpendicular on OY dash line and call this M. All right. Now A is actually what? A is equal to ON plus NA. No doubt about it. ON plus AN. Now ON is actually OP cos theta because ON by OP is cos theta. Basic definition. ON divided by OP is cos theta. So in place of ON I can write OP cos theta. And what is AN? This is AN. So AN, see, AN, AN by PN, as per the geometry of the problem, is cot alpha, cot of alpha. Alpha is this angle. So AN by PN base by perpendicular is cot alpha. So in place of AN, I can write PN cot alpha. Up to these steps are clear. Now we know OP is P, OP is P. Therefore, I can write P cos theta plus PN. PN is how much? PN you see, PN by OP. Pn by OP is actually again sin theta. So Pn I can write OP sin theta. So this is OP cos theta is P cos theta because OP is P and Pn cot alpha in place of Pn I can write OP sin theta and cot alpha, cot alpha you just consider this triangle. Consider triangle OAB. OAB. In this triangle, I can write cot alpha is definitely OA divided by OB. But OA is how much? OA is A and OB is B. So cot alpha I can readily write A by B. So in place of cot alpha I am writing A by B. So it is P cos theta OA equal to A is equal to P cos theta plus P sin theta into A by B. Therefore A is equal to P cos theta plus P sin theta A by B. Now so A equal to P cos theta plus A by B into P sin theta. This relation we have obtained. Divide both sides by AP. A into P. So it is becoming 1 by P divided by AP. So it is A by AP, so it is 1 by P equal to cos theta by A plus sin theta by B. So we obtain a relation connecting P, A, B and theta. Theta is a variable over there. So 1 by B equal to cos theta by A plus sin theta by B. And we call this relation as relation number 1. 1 by P equal to cos theta by A plus sin theta by B. 
I hope the steps are clear, whatever we have obtained so far. We are attempting to find a relation between P, Q and A, B. So far, we have obtained a relation between P, A, B involving a variable theta. Theta is the angle of rotation. So keep this in mind, 1 by P equal to cos theta by A plus sin theta by B. If these steps are clear, then let us proceed to the next part of the problem. Now, we have already obtained this thing 1 by p equal to cos theta by a plus sin theta by b is equal to 1, a, 1 by p equal to cos theta by a plus sin theta by b which is relation number 1 which we obtained in the last part of the problem. Now, consider OQ, this is Q, this point is Q. So, OQ already we wrote OQ is Q, OQ is Q, obviously. So, OQ is equal to OM plus MQ, clearly. But OM is actually, you see, OM divided by OB, OM divided by OB. is cos theta. So, I can write OM in place of OM, I can write OB cos theta and MQ, MQ, MQ is MQ. This angle is beta we discussed already. So, MQ by BM, consider the triangle QBM. So, MQ by BM is cot beta. So, MQ is, I can write BM cot beta. Try to follow the steps. So, MQ equal to BM cot beta. Now, OB is how much? OB, OB is B, OB is B, therefore, B cos theta, OB cos theta is B cos theta and BM, BM is how much? BM you see, BM divided by OB. From the triangle OBM, I can write BM divided by OB is actually sin theta. So, BM I can write OB sin theta. So, BM we have written OB sin theta and cot beta, cot beta if you consider the triangle, consider the triangle red, consider the triangle red line and this, this line actually if you consider Q P O, consider this triangle. So, it is cot beta is how much? It is OQ divided by OP. Check. Cot beta is OQ divided by OP. But OQ is how much? OQ is Q and OP is P. So, cot beta is Q by P. So, BM we have written OB sin theta and cot beta is Q by P. So, Q is equal to B cos theta plus OB is actually B. OB is actually B. So, B sin theta into Q by P. Therefore, Q is actually B cos theta plus B sin theta Q by P. So, we have obtained Q equal to B cos theta plus QB by P sin theta. Now, divide both sides of this 
by BQ cos theta divide by BQ cos theta then what happens I get in the LHS 1 by B cos theta 1 divided by B cos theta I am dividing by BQ cos theta is equal to 1 by Q plus 1 by P tan theta. So, 1 by B cos theta equal to 1 by Q plus 1 by P tan theta. Up to these steps are clear. Now, what we do? It is 1 by P tan theta. Now, you replace 1 by P by this RHS of this equation. So, what happens? Just let me remove this part. So, what happens? I write as it is 1 by B cos theta is equal to 1 by Q plus tan theta 1 by P I write cos theta by A plus sin theta by B. So, what I did in place of 1 by P I have used I have written cos theta by A plus sin theta by B. So, it is 1 by Q plus sin theta by A because tan theta into cos theta is sin theta plus sin theta tan theta sin theta tan theta by b. Therefore, it is actually 1 by q plus sin theta by a plus sin square theta by b cos theta. I can write there is no issue. So, if you take this term this side then what happens? So, if you take this term this side just remove this. So, here 1 by, 1 by b cos theta is there. So, I write 1 by b cos theta 1 minus sin square theta is equal to 1 by q plus sin theta by a. I can write but 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta and there is a cos theta in the denominator. So, ultimately you get from this it is cos theta by b is equal to 1 by q sin theta by a. See steps are clear. 1 by b cos theta 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta. So, I can write 1 by b cos theta into cos square theta. So, 1 by so cos theta cancel 1 cos theta in the numerator gets cancelled. So cos theta by b is equal to 1 by q plus sin theta by a. So 1 by q you take in the left hand side it becomes cos theta by b 1 by q keep it in the right hand side is equal to cos theta by b minus sin theta by a then just interchange. So, I get 1 by q equal to cos theta by a cos theta by b minus sin theta by a 
1 by q equal to cos theta by b minus sin theta by a. So, what in the previous relation it was 1, this is 2. We got a connection between p a b involving theta, and here I got a connection between q a b involving theta. So, just remember these two relations 1 by p equal to cos theta by a plus sin theta by b, call it 1 and 1 by q equal to cos theta by b minus sin theta by a which is 2. Now, let us eliminate if, since we want to find a relation between p, q, a, b. So, we have to eliminate this theta terms from this using these two. So, how that can be done? Let us see in the next slide. So, we obtained, we have already obtained two connecting equations between P, Q, A, B and these are these two. 1 by P equal to cos theta by A plus sin theta by B and 1 by Q equal to cos theta by B minus sin theta by A. So, if you square them, so 1 by P square is equal to cos square theta by A square simple formula plus sin square theta by b square plus 2 sin theta cos theta divided by a b. This is from 1. And similarly from 2 I can write 1 by q square is equal to cos square theta by b square plus sin square theta by a square minus twice sin theta cos theta by a b. This is from 2. Just to have squared. Now, if you add them, then 1 by p square plus 1 by q square, you just add 1 by p square plus 1 by q square. This term and this term, when added, gives 1 by a square. Because 1 by a square is the denominator common cos square theta plus sin square theta. So, 1 by a square plus this term and this term when added it gives 1 by b square and these two term this term and this term when added it gives 0. So, I get 1 by p square plus 1 by q square equal to 1 by a square plus 1 by b square. So, the relation, desired relation is 1 by p square plus 1 by p square equal to 1 by a square plus 1 by b square. And among the given alternatives, b matches with our result and therefore, b is the correct answer. So, this problem we have solved using simple geometrical consideration. We can solve this problem using a simpler alternative technique when we learn about straight line. When you learn about straight line, easily, much easily we can solve this problem. But here we have explained this from basic geometrical consideration. So, this is the relation between P, Q and A, B. Okay. I hope you have followed the steps of the calculation.